Hello everyone. Welcome back to BotBiz. In this video, we're going to show you how to import a WhatsApp subscriber list manually and send a broadcast message to imported subscribers. First, go to the BotBiz dashboard and open Subscriber Manager. If you have multiple WhatsApp accounts, then you must select the one you want to use. Click on Options, and the drop-down menu will appear. You can see a lot of options here. Click on Import Subscribers, and a pop-up will be shown. Here, you can see an upload file called Upload Files. Notice that your file must be a CSV file. Let's create a CSV file of subscribers. Open the Google Sheet, or Excel file, as you prefer. Add two columns in it, one for the phone number. Make sure the text is in all lowercase and with an underscore, as I've written, and the other for the name in lowercase. Keep in mind, phone numbers should start with the country code. Like I'm from India, the phone number should start with 91, without a plus sign, because BotBiz doesn't support the plus sign. Add your numbers and names in it. Then go to File and download the file in CSV format. Now go back to BotBiz and upload the file. Great, all your subscribers will be uploaded here, but it will show you the first two subscribers' phone numbers and names. Check it carefully if all is OK. Now, click on Map Data, twice, set the phone number to phone number and set the name to subscriber name. Now click on the Confirm button, your subscribers will be uploaded on BotBiz. Now, in the second step, we need to create a message template. Let's create a message template before selecting this. From the dashboard of BotBiz, go to the Bot Manager. Select the bot account for which you want to create the message template. Click on the Create button and choose the general template. Create your message template that you want to send to your users. Let me create a test message template. Yes, the message template has been created. We must check the status of the template. Yes, the template has been approved. If it's not approved, then just change something and try again. This message template can be used for broadcast, live chat, and any integrated message. So, after creating the test template message, now, go back to the BotBiz dashboard. and select Broadcasting from the WhatsApp section. And click on Create for a new broadcast message. The Visual Flow Builder will open a new tab of your browser. Here, give it a campaign name. I will write Test Campaign. Here you can see two total buttons. The first one is 24 hours and the second one is Anytime. When you toggle the 24 hours button, BotBiz will select those subscribers who messaged you in the last 24 hours. When you toggle the Anytime button, BotBiz will select those subscribers who didn't message you first. Instead, you are going to message them for the first time, and I will select the Anytime option here because the phone number I'm going to add didn't message me first. Select a message template, we just created. Okay, moving on to here you can include and exclude labels. If you want to schedule the message to be sent later, you can toggle the send later button like this. I want to send it immediately. I will not use this option. Now just save it. 
After that, double click on the start flow part and give it a title. So, I'm going to write test campaign, dot ok, and save the workflow and click on save button, and your broadcast will be sent. Finally, we go back to the BotBiz dashboard and select Broadcasting, and here you can check the status of your broadcast. Right now, it's pending. It will take a few minutes to complete the campaign. Let's wait for some time. Yes, the campaign has been sent. We can see the report by clicking on this button. Well, that's all. This is how you can import a WhatsApp subscriber list manually and send a broadcast message to imported subscribers. Thanks for watching.